Hey guys, come back to you. Today I'm off on the video, I don't even know what, what type of intro that was. But let's... Well, let's not get into it first. So I got the gameplay, I got some warm up. Some USPA map against the bots, I was warming up for a comp game. And... And that's what the gameplay is about. So today, I'm going to continue this series. I'm talking about some life advice. And some other tips like that. I don't know when the last time I made a video and like that was, but so let's just get into it. Let's let's fucking hop right into it. Get these high energy, high energy. Even though I'm like three hours just need making this. Or we prefer playing and making some gameplay and getting those gains and getting a higher skilled player. So I have for you today is about doing the small things right. Snatch well. Just doing small things in general in life. It's pretty simple, guys. But Tell me what I just don't know what doing the small things right means. Just doing the small things right means. And if you do the small things, the big things will be done right. Or they will take care of themselves. Pretty simple, guys, but... You know how to do the small things. Good example. Missing some motivational speech on YouTube. I think it's the best motivation. I'll be linking it. At the beginning of the video, at the beginning of the video and the end, I'll put some, uh, I don't even know what it, annotations, I guess, to link to the speeches I'm going to use. The speech, some examples of speeches like a Greg Plitt speech, and then the best motivation, that's, I think that's what the title is, I'll just link them. So I'll just let you know that. A few of you, I heard about it, if you can't wash the dishes, clean your house, make your bed right, how are you expected? To run a Fortune 500 company, and that's just true, guys. And just true. And then, but before I explain it, another example is a commencement speech to UT, pretty famous. I'm going to also link that by retired Admiral William McRaven. He said, in 36 years of being a SEAL, the first thing he did is make your bed. Makes sense, guys. Little things like making your bed sets you up for success. Like, waking up in the morning, being uncomfortable, making your bed, or when you're cleaning your house, or your area, your room, or whatever, and you see something, you not know a mistake, or you didn't fully clean, and you're like, well, I'm going to go back and clean it, and make sure I actually did it correctly. Or like washing the dishes, you forget some, see some dishes you forgot on the table, you might just left them there. You go and finish the job right, you are cleaning your car, you see a spot. Say spot on your car. Great bit speech, you see, just in your countertops. And there's some picture frames. You pick the you, Yeah, I messed that up so bad. You dust around the picture frame when you pick the fucker up. And dust your, and dust the whole thing. Another one. He he said in his speech, another speech motivational speech he did, is when you're cleaning your car and you're done with the job. You see you miss something on your car? You just pick up this stuff, say that's good enough, or you go back and do it, do it correctly. The thing about small things is, it helps you put in the correct amount of effort. Small things, small gains, less accomplishments, and whatever thing you you are doing, it can lead it to more accomplishments. Now, we're just doing small thing, making your bed in the morning, it might lead you to doing something more in the day. Building you up that confidence, knowing like, hey, I did something today, and leads you to doing that. And then you do another thing, you no know, no things. They shape your character, define your future, and expand your influence. They shape your character, because if you don't use doing the small things right, you get into the real world, and like, yeah, why do this? You're at work. It's like, I want to be successful. Ah, I don't want to do this, because, you know, it doesn't, I don't want to do it. And then, it defines your future, just like I said, it defines your future. In the future, you don't want to get your job, you might not want to put in the full effort, but you wonder why you aren't successful, you're not doing the small things. And they expand your influence, because if you're starting to do small things right, then you cannot eventually need to influence other, other people to do the things. I can't stress this enough, guys. Doing the small things, the no things, small things right, they apply to every fucking fast in the life working out school sports relationships some type of competitive 
how can I put this? Some type of competitive school and like numbers in Texas they have UIL use some type of competitive uh, academics like the business, relationships, gaming, and everyday life. It applies to it. So for working out, you do the stretches, you do the reps correctly, the form, the diet correctly. Because if you can do the small things right, when you come like to ultimate goal, you goal you have set out there, and you do those small things right, maybe like a comp, a bodybuilding competition. You're like, you know, I'm gonna do this because it matters at the end of the day, and it, to the final hour, it helps you know what you're gonna do. And even then, not even like applying to work, you make your bed, clean your dishes, clean your house, clean your car. Maybe doing some yard work, you do it correctly. You just do it correctly, because then it makes you value the steps that then you know what it takes. And you don't get used to some half effort or some half ass effort. I've got a video I'm gonna do about that. But you don't get used to that. It helps you guys. And you see the full results of the thing. If you're doing small things right, at the end, the final hour, you get to see the full results. It helps you guys pay attention to the detail. Because if you're doing the small things right in the future, maybe you're doing like some, you're needing a company, you see no mess up, it helps you pay attention to the detail. And then it needs you to discipline. Because if you discipline yourself to doing the small things right every morning, throughout the whole day, doing every no small thing right throughout your whole life, then in the future you get to do the correct things. You start disciplining yourself to do things like get up when it's not comfortable to go work out. Or stay on last night doing some doing working on the business proposal, doing some schoolwork. And then and then it helps you improve your mindset. Because it improves your mindset, you're doing the small things right, you stay positive. It's like you know, I did something. And going back to Admiral McGrath McGrath's speech, I think that, that's what his name is, I think it is. So he said, at least, I mean, your day, right if you don't do anything, your day's not like a colossal failure. You go back, you know, hey, I, I came back to something I did, and you know, hey, it proves your mindset. Get your upset, I'm gonna go do it again. And all, then it needs you to implement other small things into your life and doing, and just wanting to do stuff. It's like, oh, this other, like, maybe, I don't know, like, going out for a run in the morning when it's cold, rainy, and stormy, and no one wants to do it. And he's like, hey, I'm going to go do it, you know, I'm going to work out, it's going to help me be a better, it's going to help me be a better workout, it's going to help me perform. And if you do the small things right, well, one last thing, guys, before I go, if you do the small things right, you do not have to go back and do the second, second time, because doing something the second time sucks. And also... Doing small things right, guys, doesn't need you to conform, because if you're doing small things right, you know, makes your confidence grow, it's like, you know, I can go do more of my life, I can do more, I can do more. It's like, I felt, you know, what it, does he, they're going back to Greg Flint's speech, he's like, what it, it's ten times more mad to say I fell, because what if, what if never went to the arena, and that's the truth, it gives you, that confidence, and you don't have to go back and do it a second time. Guys, doing small things right, there's endless examples of how to help successful people at the end of the day know how to do the small things right to the best of their ability. So, guys, until next time, if you need a subscription, go check the social media in the description. I won't be streaming this weekend and throughout spring break because I'm going to be going on a trip, but I will have videos prepared for you guys. And peace until next time. Stay on the ground, guys. Peace.